So one of the common questions that we got asked is, what do I do about a muscle tear? I, I tore this muscle, I strained this ligament, whatever the case might be. How do you recover from that and what kind of percentages should you be working at throughout your recovery? First things first is when you have any kind of a tear, a strain by the way is a tear, a grade one strain is just a mild tear where grade three is a much more severe tear. What we like to tell people is heavy, slow resistance is a great way for you to be loading those structures. What that means is about a four second eccentric and a three second concentric through a partial range of motion that doesn't put a tendon over any kind of a bony structure. So for example, with a squat, we have somebody squat to a box just at or above parallel. Uh, we'll do lunges, we'll do shoulder presses, we'll do bicep curls. But sometimes the range of motion needs to be limited when there's bony structures in the way. Sometimes it doesn't. As far as how to get back into lifting when that injury is recovered, for lack of a better term, it gets a little bit complex and it gets very specific. So we like to start people with what we call developing a new acute load. Acute load is how much work have you done in the last four weeks. So if we think about this as a runner, for example, just to make the point, if you run 40 miles a week every week and then you're out of the gym or you're out of the running for four weeks, you take your last four weeks and you average them out. And now your acute load is gonna be 10, week, 10, 10 miles. So your first week back, you're not doing any more than 10 miles, even though only four weeks ago you were doing 40. You're gonna do 10 miles and we're gonna do that for two to four weeks to make sure that you're not symptomatic. Then we're gonna increase by 1.3 to 1.5 times the previous week's load. So maybe it would be 13 miles to 15 miles. If that's symptom free, we up it again by the same percentage and we do that until such time that the athlete has reached full bore, full load, full volume, full intensity, full everything. That's when we know you can go back to doing everything as you were before.